Hey, that's JB, Brick Fanatic here. This is a 2020 LEGO City Set, set 60267, the Safari Off-Road over with 168 pieces. This is what the back of the box looks like. You've already seen the front of the box. Let's crack it open. In this box, you see bag one, you see bag two, you see a bag with a cougar, and you see a sticker sheet, and you see it. I'm gonna be building this set at the end of this video, so if you want to see the live build, stay tuned to the end, but to see the final product, let's go right now. And here we have, it. oh, dang it. And here we, oh, there. There, there we go. Okay, finally got it. So this is the set. This is the Safari Jeep and I absolutely love it. This is the first city set I've bought in a while and I'm very happy with how it turned out. There's just so many different things, so many details in here. The attention to detail that the designers put in the set is spot on and I'm very appreciative that they were able to go at, at this level of detail with the stickers and all the different, just, just different things. And we'll get into that. Let's take a look at the minifigures first though. The first minifigure here is going to be this female. She comes with a cup and some binoculars. We're going to take those off for this minifigure review. You can see that she has a very nice dark green torso with the red bandana and the white shirt underneath. You can see the details for the pockets on her front of the jacket. And then you can also see the black belt that she has underneath. She has a pair of red pants that are matching the dark red handkerchief. And then there is some details on the back. Now she does come with this very, very nice hat and hair combo. I absolutely love this piece and the face print is actually pretty cute as well. I love the little freckles on this minifigure and the kind of smirk with the angry or determined eyebrows. Now she does come with an alternate expression and it's a little wink. You can either have her winking at maybe someone or at the camera. She's looking through the camera hole. I don't think any of these pieces are exclusive except for this torso. Let's get on to the next minifigure. All right, now this minifigure is crazy. So we have a camera, I'm gonna take that off. This is the build for the camera, oops. This is the build for the camera. It's just a camera with a one by one round brick on it with the tile on top. And here's the crazy minifigure. So he has this piece, which is this like log, I guess costume piece that they did from City last year or maybe at the beginning of this year, I'm not 100% sure. Then you have a little leaf piece on top with the parrot. We're gonna take that off while we look at this minifigure. This is a common torso that has been included in a few sets, I think most recently on like the little boy minifigure. Whoa, that's very bright. Why is it getting so bright? Then on the back, you can see he does have like a zip pocket with a more determined face. And I do like the face print on this. There's his scared face and you have all the little pockets and just the different things. There's little carabiner hooks if he wants to hook anything on. Butting in here, there is a hair piece if you do decide to take off this wacky costume. And then this is how the minifigure looks with the hair. And then as you can see, this is the more serious face. And this is the tree piece that is just wild. Now the parrot itself, taking a look at the parrot, this is a dual molded from blue to yellow and there's actually some green in there because of the mixture. I'm pretty sure all these are going to be pretty unique because of just how they mold these and I like mine. I think it looks really really nice. Um, there's a blue stripe that goes down into the foot which is pretty interesting but um, yeah I really do like this minifigure and there's just uh, not a lot to say about it. It's just kind of wacky. Let's take a look at the Jeep. With all the minifigures out of the way, we can take a look at this Jeep. I love it. It's a four x four like safari Jeep. It's so classic. The color scheme with the white, black, and gray, and especially these stickers just make it all that more interesting. On the back, you can see it's got some safari stickers. Let me change the focus so it'll focus on these. You can see it's got safari stickers. The license plate is MM and then the set number. That's probably the initials of the designer. I love this little logo. These are all on two by three tiles that are stickers. Again, there's no prints in this set other than the mini fingers. Not sure why I said fingers. Uh, Greg must be getting to me. Yeah, all in all, the little details that go all the way around. This little grill print on either side. You have the ladder that goes up. This is a stickered license plate within the other sticker. You also have a tow hitch just as added detail. Again, that Safari logo. On top, you have the Safari logo with just this storage space where you can put whatever you want and then the antenna here you've got the little thing for the gas cap 
and then you've got the mirror and then you also have the air intake just for the engine and all that and it's so cool like if i was building this and i didn't have any reference i wouldn't have thought to put like the air intake in there or even the little gas thing but you know what they went for it and it it worked out so well you also have the license plate on the front of the car now the top is removable in fact very easily you can take your minifigure we'll take this lovely lady and put her on the driver's seat you can see there she fits no problem you can put this right back on she has plenty of room this is very well scaled to her that's probably bigger than real life but for lego it's a very nice build you also have a back seat where you can put some other things you might be able to fit this guy in here depending on uh, how this is going to attach but this is a pretty cool piece by the way you can see some green sticking out from like behind here and inside there, but it's not really noticeable and I didn't notice it until just now because I was trying to scrutinize it. You have four lights that come across the front. Obviously you have headlights and then tail lights that are up here. Now something I've yet to mention and I actually forgot about, this is the cougar, I guess, or lion or something. I'm gonna use my, oh, there's a tear. I don't even need a knife. So here we have the lion straight out of the package. You can see she, I think it's a lioness. Yeah, it's a lion. So she looks up and um, yeah, it's a really cool figure. This is the first of these. This is all hard plastic. None of this is gonna be bendy. You can see she can attach, let's put this here. She can attach to studs like that or all the way down. She can attach by three points and look up. She actually has a very far range of motion up and down. And I think that's pretty accurate to the real thing. This does not come with the set. And all in all, this is a great set. This set is <laughs> phenomenal. The phenomenal minifigures, the phenomenal lion, the phenomenal everything, the phenomenal. But I think that's gonna wrap it up for this review. If I did not show you everything you wanted to see, I apologize, I tried my best, but that's gonna wrap it up for this set. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oops. If you wanna see more videos just like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like down below and I will see you in the next one. Shadows, no shadows, bright, sun, zoom out, wow, zoom in, change, boom, ba, beep, ba, boop, ba, beep, ba, beep, ba, boop, ba, ba, beep, ba, 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 